legend in Oklahoma politics, longtime Oklahoma U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe died this morning at the age of 89. Thanks so much for joining us at 6. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rozzi. Inhofe's family announced his death through a statement saying the former senator had a stroke on July 4th and died from complications related to that stroke early this morning. Fox 23 anchor Rick Marinon is live at Tulsa Riverside Airport with a look at Senator Inhofe's life and legacy. Now, Rick, that airport is where he spent the last year and a half after leaving the Senate. It is. He went from the halls of Congress to here at Tulsa Riverside Airport. He didn't retire on an island in the sun or next to a beach anywhere. It was here at this airport where he spent most of his days. His family and friends came here and he visited with them and they looked back. And now they say this place will not have the same feel to it ever again. Jim Inhofe may no longer be with us, but the work of his hands and his mind are really all around us forever. He's regarded as one of the most effective mayors in the history of the city. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum says Inhofe's work, both as a senator and even back as Tulsa mayor, shaped modern-day Tulsa right down to the trash and 911 system. But while we all knew Inhofe, the nation really got to know him over the years as both a defense hawk and one of the biggest opponents of climate change at the U.S. Capitol. I asked the chair, you know what this is? It's a snowball. And that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonal. So here, Mr. President, catch this. But while the nation was fixated on Inhofe's policies, it's people like Jerry Buchanan, who flew with Inhofe for years and became personal friends with him, who really knew and understood him best. Jerry, a fellow pilot, was given permission by the Inhofe family to show Fox 23 Inhofe's plane that he still has, that he used to campaign across the state in for years, still parked in Jinx, where Inhofe spent most of his days since leaving office. It's been a really enjoyable time for him. He, he misses Washington, of course, but he moved past that. Jerry says the news quickly spread that his senator and friend died Tuesday, but he's proud of the man in the next hangar. He says Washington, D.C. didn't understand Inhofe because he was there to bring Oklahoma to Washington and not the other way around. And it was during that long tenure he achieved much, even across party lines. Jim absolutely loved Oklahomans, and he loved to come back to Oklahoma. He went all over the state so he could talk with people and take their ideas back to Washington, D.C. instead of bringing Washington, D.C. ideas to Oklahoma, which Oklahomans don't like that. But even though there is now a plane without a pilot, friends and family like Jerry say, on Tuesday morning, Jim Inhofe got himself a new, permanent pair of wings, where they say he's already flying high once again. I think Jim Inhofe would like for people to know that he is in a place that he knew that he would always be eventually, that he's, he's happy and content there. He is with his son, Perry. And as highly as people thought of him, I'm told that's how Inhofe felt about all of us. To the people of Oklahoma, I really thank uh, what you've done for me all these years. Funeral arrangements have not been announced yet. You'll notice we aren't standing right next to Inhofe's hangar. There's a bit concern that some people would try to leave things there if they saw the standing here. They don't want, obviously, things blowing in the runway or also anybody breaking in. As for all of Inhofe's things that he received, awards, writings, you name it, that will all be sent to OSU Stillwater, where it will be archived for the rest of time over the next few months. Live at Tulsa Riverside Airport, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. Statements continue to come in from across the country about the death of Senator Jim Inhofe. Oklahoma U.S. Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, who took over Inhofe's seat after he retired, said, quote, It's fitting that Senator Jim Inhofe's middle name was Mountain because that's exactly what he was, not just for our state, but for the nation. Senator Inhofe's tenacity and enduring love for Oklahoma made him a titan in the Senate. He was a tireless advocate and a wonderful friend, father, husband, and grandfather. While I will never be able to fill his shoes. Jim's spirit, passion, and love of country will continue to inspire me each and every day. To see more statements, reactions, and memories, we have them all for you inside this story on fox23.com. And later this summer, Tulsa International Airport will be breaking ground on this new control tower already named in honor of Enhoff. He was one of the main people to get the federal government to pay its portion of what was needed to build a new control tower at TIA. In addition to big signs near the tower, Enhoff's entire life and legacy, especially when it comes to aviation, will be also displayed in the terminal.